So this is just a quick uh, video on how to convert and also how to play AVI files on your uh, MacBook. So again, uh, you'd probably want to convert it so you can use it with iMovie or if you just want to play the AVI files, um, you know, I'll show you how you quickly do that as well. So firstly, to play, what you need to download is the VLC player. Um, again, you can just Google that quickly and you can install the VLC for Mac. Um, the old there is some people say you can get the old QuickTime Seven, uh, which does the same job. Uh, I think you can get some codec for it, uh, which allows you to do that. But um, so I've got my AVI file there, and that's just ha a Half Life playing on there, playing perfectly fine. So that's how you can play the AVI. So again, AVI, you, maybe you've recorded off a different computer or you've got that via um, uh, maybe some sort of camera and you've recorded some footage and, they've, and it's put it into the AVI format. You can play it on your MacBook using VLC fine. Now, the second part is, um, on the second part, I'm going to show you how to convert the AVI so it can be picked up with... Um, uh, pick, picked up with iMovie or any other editing software that uh, Mac recognizes. So first thing you'd need to do is go to Google and search for Handbrake Mac. Uh, the only reason I'm recommending this is I found it the easiest and the quickest to use. There are a handful of options out there that help you um, um, that, that help you convert the video but the one thing I like about this is it doesn't leave any sort of watermark on the converted video. So it is a free uh, download, uh, but it doesn't leave um, any sort of watermark. So just if you let the countdown um, start, the download should start. It's not it's not a big download, it's only 8 meg, 8.5 meg. So once, in, once downloaded, you can install it. So I'm just running it off uh, my drive. So now, once you open it, it automatically tells you, asks you to select a file. Um, I'm selecting my AVI file that I have. So it brings up the details. There's a fair few things you can do with it. Um, again, you can play around with what you need, but the main thing that you need to know is the format of the file and uh, any sort of optimization that you'd want to do. Uh, again, that is completely your personal preference. So every time you do a conversion, you can check what the sizes are. If it's if you're obviously limited to uh, storage space, then um, you know by all means play with it and get get what's right for you. Then you, all you need to do is click start, and that will encode your file and convert it to MP4. So now this has converted my file. Again, the destination you select is where it will save it. As you can see, it's placed the video on my um, desktop. Um, so again, if I double click on that, um, it should work perfectly fine with, uh, yep, yeah, works perfect with my QuickTime player. And that's the Mavericks QuickTime player. And also at the same time, um, I can load it to uh, iMovie and it, it, it loads that fine as well. Alright, thanks for watching guys.